Good morning to you all. I am Dr. K. Pushpam Delit, Assistant Professor in Sociology. Today we are discussing about comparative methods in sociology. Comparative method studied about the similarities and differences between different units or cultural or social groups or studies. For example, comparing marriage system of Hindus with Muslims, art and culture of tribals with non-tribals. Customs and social practices of rural people with urban people. So we are studying about the comparisons for the two group of people, either tribal people or non-tribal people or rural people and urban people. The difference between Indian family and American family, nature and causes of crime committed by females in India with those of females in America, England, Canada, etc. Comparative methods, the analysis of social change in history are carried out with the help of various methods. The analysis of social change in history are carried out with the help of various methods. We are using different methods, not only in the comparative methods, we are using different methods or various methods like exploratory or descriptive method or case study method and survey method. All these various methods for using or analyzing the cho social change in history. Then one of the most favored method is the comparative method used in sociology. So in this method, this comparative method is only most favored methods for using uh, in sociology. This entails the study of different groups and institutions in order to examine the similarities and differences. So we are using the comparative methods. We can analyze different groups and institutions in order to examine the differences and dis uh, similarities. So what kind of nature and differences we, uh, we need to analyze with the help of comparative methods. And importance of uh, comparison method. In our daily life, we come across many situations where we have to decide if a thing called X is more suited, suited, for, uh, suited for us than others called Y or X. Then we compare X, Y and Z. For instance, which mobile has to be purchased? So what, uh, what kind of mobile? We are, we are choosing the X, Y, uh, X, y and Z uh, mobile retailer or mobile, uh, mobile seller. And we are discussing about uh, what kind of mobile uh, we need to purchase with the comparison. Which mobile will be quality or uh, uh, they, are, uh, they have a high, high software or a easy software. All the things will be. Uh, thinking and we are comparing one product to another product then only we decide for purchasing. The color of X may be more appealing than Y or Z. The borders of may be the best and Z may have the best quality of the materials. So we have been comparing the merits and suitability of three items uh, X, uh, Y and Z. So the comparison help us to take appropriate decision in daily life where alternatives are available. So comparison helps to take appropriate decision. We need a, a choice. We have a choice. That choice only uh, help to for our comparisons. That comparisons take appropriate decision in daily life where alternatives are available. Next one is the first requirement alternatives are available. We have an alternative. So we have a one more product or we have, we, we have a choices. Okay. Hence the first requirement of comparison is that alternatives are available. The second is that these things should belong to the same category or class of objects. So that these things should be belong to the same category or classes of object so that uh, uh, the, they have a same category for example mobile category or a sari category or a bag category or a, a bike category all the things same category uh, things should be belong to the same category or class or objects so within the the product is same but in the quality and uh, software or uh, technology all the various uh, due to we are uh, uh, searching for the quality or technology uh, through our comparison only. We do not compare uh, versions with softwares. Okay, so thatly there should be some difference among objects. The difference should be among narrow limits. So there really should be some differences among the objects. We have some differences. We identified the some differences among the uh, product. 
so the difference would be among narrow limits. There is no point in comparing a version software rupees 6000 and another rupees uh, the, uh, six, uh, 600 to 6000. So we need a price and quality and material all the things will be included. The next one is ML Durkheim comparison of society. So according to our sociologist and the ML Durkheim comparison of uh, society he is used for comparative method in, in this study. The meaningful or relevant difference is important in scientific comparisons. The experiences of a same phenomenon can be refined. For example, urbanization in India can be studied from a period of 1971 to 2001. So with, in this period, we need a, we, uh, uh, we compare, compared in, the, in our society. So Turkim studied the social rates of suicide in France over the later part of the 19th century. Darkim wants it to understood that comparison can be made of variations of a phenomenon in different parts of a society, variation of a phenomenon of different society at a time. So variation of a phenomenon among different societies at different times corresponding to their level of development. So what we, uh, what we or what category we need to compare them. So the phenomenon different parts of a society, that particular incidence uh, uh, occurring or taking place in a different society and what um, that incidence, that phenomenon different society at a time, the same time in the various place the particular incidents are taking place. The variation of phenomenon among different societies at different times corresponding to their level of development. So what kind of, uh, what level of development we are achieving due to the particular activity or particular phenomenon. For example, in the Indian society uh, versus urban society. So what kind of development we achieved uh, due to the comparison process. Okay. Next one is benefits of comparative method. All sociological research involves the comparison of cases or variables which are similar in some respects and dissimilar in others. So all sociological research uh, uh, involves comparison of cases. We need to comparison all the cases or variables like uh, age variable or education variable or uh, uh, causes variable or consequences variable all the variables we need to compare which are similar in some respect and dissimilar in others the future under examination may occur within the same society for instance rate and classes belonging to same society may be compared or the same variable may appear in different societies like the rate of social mobility among the same strata but in different society. So these are the way we need to compare compared for the uh, phenomenon or a social fact or a, some kind of activities or causes and consequences of the particular diseases or particular persons or particular development oriented activities. Then the comparative method is amply used in anthropological and ethnometrological research. So the comparative method is largely or widely used for anthropology. So we compared to our culture or uh, our uh, physical structure, all those things will be compared in anthropological and ethnometrological research also. So in our day-to-day -day life, we, need, we compared uh, in the societal activities. Next one is, incidentally in the Victorian age, Herbert Spencer had already started a significant inventory of information about social institution in a great number of countries. So we are a comparison for the, the origin of the human development. So what way we are a development and what kind of activities we do in the ancient society and the modern society and uh, uh, more ancient, moderate and modern society. So we need to compare these uh, kinds of uh, ancient uh, periods. So all the things um, we need to compare from our social institutions. Then today all forms of data banks are developed in different places providing vital factual into available readily and widely available. So all forms of data banks are developed in different places. So, so all the functions data and uh, banks are how to uh, function in different places. All the things will be compared. In Britain, its most forceful exponent was 
Radcliffe Brown, uh, Radcliffe Brown. He uh, he is also a sociologist uh, and anthropologist. He uh, dominated anthropology in the late thirties and forties and used social anthropology as a synonym for comparative sociology. So he uh, used the comparative method for studying the anthropology and uh, social anthropology. So we frequently he frequently used for comparative method. then what kind of limitations have in the comparative method the comparative method is one way of testing hypothesis because we are compared to two products or uh, two incidents or uh, two cultures that um, it, it is one way testing hypothesis the difficulties while using the comparative method seems to be due absence of not clearly formulated hypothesis and in part of defining to the unit of comparison so we have a two variable so uh, we are not uh, framing the hypothesis in the wider level, wider level because we we have a minimum level of variables or um, variables that time we are creating the uh, two or more uh, two or uh, one or two hypothesis only Uh, because there is no way for uh, making more hypotheses uh, in the uh, limited variables herbert spencer work is lucid example of the comparative method where he had compared military and industrial type of society so how the activities are going in the military and industrial society that also compared that also compared so we are we are, are comparing in the two organizational activities like uh, military organizations and industrial organizations so what kind of activities and what kind of humans are working there all the things will be comparing next one is radcliffe brown observed that the comparative method alone gives you nothing so this is uh, radcliffe brown uh, says the comparative method uh, not uh, gives a uh, not you uh, uh, radcliffe uh, brown observed that the comparative method alone gives you nothing so that method only not give any uh, all the things because nothing will grow out of the ground unless we put we put uh, we put seed into it okay so we are uh, we are only we are compared what are the causes and consequences it's the higher level or lower lower level only so the we are uh, analyzed at that level that level only so there is uh, the comparative method is not giving all the inputs because what kind of input is there that only we are comparing so what uh, what extent in the input is there so what kind of output we are uh, reaching all the things only compare <coughs> compared through the comparative method thank you so this is the compa comparative method in our sociological method sociological study so we are uh, what kind of activities if uh, uh, two uh, two places uh, various places and the same activity is going so what level of uh, uh, what level of achieved and that uh, particular activities are uh, what level of uh, achieving that activities and what kind of development will be provided through the particular activities the level of development will be compared for the particular activities okay thank you